Geobyte. Welcome to Geobyte. Hi kids. Good morning. How are you all? Had your breakfast? Today, let us see the remaining topics in this video. Hey kids, see here, we have a table. In this table, there are four columns. In the first column, we have name of thing. In the second column, whether it has corners. In the third column, number of edges. In the fourth column, number of corners. And the things we have are die, ball, eraser, egg, sheet of paper. Whether a die has corners? Yes, a die has corners. Number of edges for a die? There are 12 number of edges for a die. Number of corners for a die. There are 8 number of corners for a die. Whether a ball has corners? No, ball is round in shape. So, ball doesn't have corners. The answer is no. Number of edges for a ball? See, ball will be in round shape. Then from where the edges will come? So, it is zero. Number of corners for a ball? Since we don't have edges, from where does the corners come? So, it is no. That is zero. Whether an eraser is having Corners. Yes, eraser has corners. Number of edges for an eraser. Eraser has twelve number of edges. Number of corners for an eraser. Eraser has eight number of corners. Whether an egg is having corners. Egg will be in oval shape. So, it doesn't have corners. No. Number of edges for an egg. Children, it is in oval shape. So, we will not have number of edges that is zero. Number of corners for an egg. Since we don't have number of edges, from where does the corners come? So, it is zero. Whether a sheet of paper has corners? Yes, a sheet of paper has corners. Number of edges for a sheet of paper. Yes, we have four number of edges for a sheet of paper. Number of corners for a sheet of paper. Yes, we have four number of corners for a sheet of paper. Hey kids, see here in the following figures, take those which have corners. Children, below we have some figures. Let us take the figures which have corners. If you see the first figure, we have one, two, two corners. Let us take. If you see 
the second figure we have one two three three corners let us tick if you see the third figure we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve corners let us tick in this fourth figure we don't have any corners we have all curves in the fifth figure we have 1 2 3 4 four corners let us tick in this egg or oval we don't have any corner in this plate or ring we don't have any corner do these figures have curved lines? Yes, these figures have curved lines. If you see, this is a curve. These three are curves. This is a curve. This is also a curve. And it also has a curve. Yes. These figures... lines Now let us get into the topic weaving patterns Hey kids one day Golu and Binnu went to a market with their aunt they saw many rugs Golu said, Wow! These many colors? Binnu said, So many shapes. Circles, triangles, see the patterns. We have some questions here. Let us see. Which geometrical shapes can you identify in these borders? See, these are the Borders, right? We can observe the shapes, circles, parallelograms, squares, triangles, hexagons, right? Let us write circles, parallelograms, Triangles, squares, hexagons, and what more? Arcs and arcs. We have arcs. Here and also here. Now let us see the next question. Is any shape repeating in a particular pattern? Which ones? Yes. See, this is a pattern. 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 Is a pattern. Right? We have these many patterns. In these patterns, the shapes are repeating. Right? In this pattern, circles and parallelograms are repeated. In this pattern, circles and squares are repeated. In this pattern, this mango type shapes and these flowers are repeated. In this pattern, Hexagons are repeated. In this pattern, small circles, big circles are repeated. Let us draw. 
circles are repeated parallelograms are repeated squares are repeated and this mango shapes these flowers and these circles bigger circle and smaller circles and also we have hexagons and also we have triangles right we have drawn all the shapes which are repeated in this patterns children now let us see the next question are the shapes made of curved lines or straight lines or both curved and straight lines let us see children in these patterns we have shapes made of curved lines and straight lines if you see parallelograms squares and hexagons are made of straight lines and circles circles and these mango shaped patterns made of curves so the shapes are made of both curved and straight lines kids there is a small activity for you look at your clothes your mother sarees or shawls rugs and mats can you identify some patterns draw them in your notebook now let us get into the topic floor patterns hey kids have you ever seen designs on floor hey do you know how are these designs are made yes these designs are made by covering the floor with small tiles without any gap see here we have two tiles if you observe this pattern they are arranged on the floor without any gap Now see this tile which has six sides So if you observe this pattern the tiles are arranged in such a way that there is no gap in between them Hey kids see here we have few tiles and some designs now you need to match these tiles with their own designs which make on the floor draw lines to match let us match first we have four designs and each tile from those designs now if you see this tile it is from which design it has two zigzag lines and a straight line where do we have that here 
See? Two zigzag lines. One straight line. So, this style is of this design. Let us match. And if you see this triangle, we have triangles here. See, this triangle is this triangle. This triangle. And inside, we have small triangle that is this triangle. So, let us match. And this square we have here. See, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let us match. Now, we are only left with this style and this design. If you see, it is a hexagon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? Inside we have two cross lines. Here also we have. So, let us match. So, we have matched the designs with their respective tiles. Hey kids! There is a small activity for you. Make your own tiles and use those tiles for making your tiling patterns. You will find them at the end of your textbook. Cut out, trace and color them. Hey kids! Now my friend will complete this pattern to make a tiling pattern. Let us do it. We have triangles, right? Here also we have triangles. I have completed this pattern. The remaining topics will be covered in the next video. You are welcome to contact us on Telegram for clarifying your doubts regarding these topics. Check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to Geobyte. Geobyte.